Adaptation is critical to address impacts of climate change that are inevitable, but it is not sufficient to prevent the buildup of climate risk. Until net zero emissions are reached, this risk would continue to accumulate, and Asia has a key role to play in global mitigation. Its share of global greenhouse gas emission has grown from 45% in the past 30 years, up from 25%. We have identified four major decarbonization opportunities in Asia. The first being shift from coal-powered energy to renewables. Asia's power sector emits over 20% of regional greenhouse gas emissions, and around 90% of Asian power emissions come from coal. Around half of global power investment by 2040 will be in Asia, putting the region in a unique position to lead mitigation efforts in the energy sector. Secondly, the industrial sectors, the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in Asia, accounted for 37% of the region's annual emissions. Steel and cement are the two highest emitting sectors, accounting for around 70% of the total industrial emissions in 2016 in Asia. Thirdly, retrofitting agriculture and reforming the forestry. Agriculture and deforestation through burning and clearing account for 10% of CO2 emissions in Asia and 40% of the methane emissions. Agriculture in Asia accounts for almost 20% of the global methane emission, which needs to be tackled both by supply and demand of the sector. And finally, Electrifying and decarbonizing road transport in buildings are also important. Asia accounts for more than 30% of global GHG emissions from transport in buildings. However, the region has technological resources whether it's electric vehicles or fuel cell vehicles in order to tackle this. Asia has the resources and capabilities to cut emissions and decisive action could help lead the world to go forward to a more sustainable future.